Burundi is near the bottom of the international human development scales. There is a high level of severe poverty in both urban and rural areas. A family's status is measured by the number of longhorn cattle they own. But these cattle contribute to the poverty of the community rather than alleviating it. They overgraze the land leading to soil degradation and typically produce only one to two litres of milk per day. They also keep children out of school as they follow the cattle into the hills. In 2007, Everest and Derakure introduced two Frisian cows from Tanzania into his community. He kept them beside the traditional long-horned cows in stalls and fed them specially grown elephant grass and cereals. Following initial ridicule from his neighbours, he soon demonstrated the cow's value when they yielded 10 to 15 litres of high quality milk per day, in stark contrast to the yield from the long-horned cows. Some in the community were impressed and wanted to enjoy the same benefits. Within five years, Everest helped nearly a hundred families to purchase Frisian cows for themselves using revolving loans. Most arrived in calf, so many of these families now have two milk-producing animals. Eager to see his community transformed, Everest launched a pilot project of milk pasteurisation and distribution. He taught how to milk the cattle with high standards of hygiene and agreed to purchase all the surplus milk. Each day, the milk is taken by the farmer to strategically placed collection centres. The volumes are measured, the quality is carefully checked and records are maintained for each farmer. The milk is then poured into 22 litre containers which are loaded onto bicycles and are pushed 11 kilometres to the main road where they are loaded onto a vehicle. There are many benefits from this pilot project. First, it provides employment for local people who do the delivery. Then others grow elephant grass for which they are paid. It also releases family members to go to school or to work in the fields since they no longer have to tend the long-horned cattle. The land also recovers from having been overgrazed, this being helped by using manure from the cows. The milk is driven to the city of Bujumbura, a one hour's journey away. In order to preserve the quality of the milk in the heat of Burundi, it is planned to purchase refrigerated vehicles for this purpose. On arrival, the milk is transferred to large cauldrons and pasteurised over charcoal fires. The containers are then thoroughly cleaned for the next collection. Once cooled, the milk is sold. Individual families purchase direct from the store and street sellers purchase for distribution through their own milk bars in the city, particularly in the slum area, thus providing opportunity for income generation. Plans are now being drawn for a solar-powered pasteurising unit. Premises are being sought in which the unit can be housed together with fridges and a bottling plant. There must be spare capacity to allow for future expansion and for the manufacture of dairy products such as cheese. Currently, nearly 500 litres of milk are pasteurised and sold each day in this pilot project. Phase one of the expanded business will be able to process up to 5,000 litres per day. This project is a truly beneficial social enterprise. The vision is to see community transformation begin to take place through the many resulting potential benefits. Particularly, it produces income for rural families and improves their health through drinking highly nutritious milk. It also allows children to attend school and provides employment for those helping with the transport, pasteurisation and marketing. The use of manure and elimination of overgrazing allows the soil to recover and become more productive. A new trade has arisen in the production and sale of elephant grass which brings further economic benefit to the community. The time gained through the children being at school and the cows being enclosed allows for other pursuits and more forward planning. This represents transformational thinking. The future is bright. Milk can indeed be the catalyst for social transformation.